if both the stones reach the ground at same moment, then height of the tower from the ground. Okay, this. Just have some rough analysis, sir. That will be more than sufficient. Uh, the first stone is what I'm going to drop it. The first stone I'm going to drop it at t equal to zero. When it's fallen by five meter, when the first stone has fallen by five meter, another stone is dropped point twenty five meter below the top. Okay, this, this is called as a top. Another uh, stone, I'm going to drop it. Twenty five meter below. Okay, so th this is released from rest here. This is also released from rest. Next time, both the stones reach the ground at the same moment. Both will reach the ground at the same moment. Look at now. Uh -huh. mm, yeah, no, no, this will be one. This will be two. With what speed they'll strike? They, they will strike with a different speed. Let's not bother the speeds. They'll come and strike with a different speed. And both will strike simultaneously here. Yeah. What is it? this? This will have some velocity here, no? Let me write you one. This is least from rest. Can we calculate this time? Then the height of the tower from the ground. Okay, this is delta T, I'll ask it. <coughs> that capital H is has to be determined. So how much of height the second stone will descend? H minus 25, and it will take some time. What is delta T? Time interval between throws. That has to be determined. Okay, for that I can I can calculate the delta T because how much of height the first stone will descend? It will descend five meters. So five is equal to G by two. Delta T. This is a one second. After one second, the first stone is going to, like it will take time, five meter, this one. So I, I think I'm, I'm indicating everything in diagram because it is released from rest. When it descends by five meter, the second stone is released here. So, what is the time interval? That that is what delta t we have calculated. Okay, now can we calculate that u one? U one should be equal to g delta t. Okay, I think that these are enough for us.
No. Okay, what is the height? The second stone will descend, or the first second stone will descend h minus twenty five. This height. How much of height it will fall freely? What height it will descend? H minus twenty five. See this. So now we do we know t? We don't know that t. What height the first stone will descend? H minus five. So this h minus five is equal to uh, this should be equal to g t square by two. Is it okay just five? No, actually you have to write u one t plus g t square by two. U one we know as ten t plus this will be ten by two t square. This will be ten t plus five t square. This after solving, five t square. We don't know that t also. Uh, now we will do one thing. H minus five <coughs> t square value is how much? H minus twenty five. Can we calculate anything? H minus twenty five. Okay, I think I'll, 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 I had. Let me like look at the calculation first. Uh, we know u one no other side we should take help of u one also u one I substitute ten t h minus twenty five equal to r of g t square G T five T square I'll replace. I'll replace this five T square here. Let's see further. Let me give number one. It's about mathematics here. We know we all wrote equations. We have to search for uh, from two and one. So H minus five equal to ten T five T square will be H minus twenty five. This H will get eliminated. Twenty five minus five equal to ten T, or T equal to two seconds. Once you know T, then you can bring the H value. This is equation three. Put three in two. H minus twenty five equal to five T square. H minus twenty five, five into two square. H equal to forty five meter. Okay, this will be the our answer. Okay, these are the sum. Uh, we we have to. Look at some mass also. We have to look at the equations and see that 